Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Starmate Station reviews and today we are taking a look at L Corporation Space Hub by L Pulpy. And I must say, this thing is huge. Uh, it features eight docks for regular ships and clamps on the ends to attach to what is supposed to be two titans. <laughs> I'm not sure how well a titan is going to be parking next to this thing, but holy crap guys, this is a massive station so this could take a little bit longer than usual. Uh, we're going to uh, immediately fly into one of the hangars. I'm going to put the ship down. Is there a docking module? No, there is no docking module. I don't understand why people do that. They make these massive, lovely hangars and they don't put down a docking module. It's very interesting choice, but uh, nonetheless, uh, here we are. So I'm going to look at the exterior first. And I must say that they've done an excellent job in some areas. In some other areas, I am going to uh, question what they were trying to do. Uh, for example, things like this. We can see that this structure here <clears throat> is fully wedged, right? And it looks fantastic. You know, they've done a really good job of breaking up this, uh, this uh, hull. And it even makes it look like everything was kind of... Everything looks like a cargo crate to some extent. It's really interesting. But it looks like, you know, there are these big boxes that were all bolted together and it makes a station and it's really neat. It looks like prefabricated to a certain degree, uh, which basically means that, you know, it was assembled elsewhere and it was brought here and put together uh, over the course of time, you know, as individual sections, right? So uh, we have, you know, this uh, armor layering, which is really neat. Is this a doorway? Am I missing something here? This looks like a door. Oh no, it's supposed to be vents. I just can't see it because of the lighting. So uh, they have some orange tanks. This seems to be a theme that people are going with, uh, orange and gray or white hull, uh, with orange tanks or orange detailing of some sort. And uh, I'm surprised. I guess a lot of people just think the same thing, or maybe they picked up on each other's builds as the contest was progressing after they seen some of the other contestants' uh, art, uh, builds and you know station design. So where I am going to consider consider uh, potential, uh, uh, I don't know, work that needs to be done is down here. The central section of this station does look like it needs a lot of wedges. Uh, they've done some wedging here, they've done uh, some wedging here, but I'm not sure I can agree with making a blocky edge, and I've mentioned this in the past video. Uh, it just breaks up the surface a little bit too much for my liking, you know, You've got this really nice, smooth feeling with the rest of the station, right? These beveled edges on these large areas give it the impression that, you know, nothing is supposed to be too sharp. Everything is supposed to be a little bit soft. And then you take a look at this and it's broken up. It's choppy. The edge uh, zigs back and forth as you move your eye across it. And it gives a different impression, a little bit different feeling. And compared to the rest of the station, it feels a little unfinished. Now, I have no idea if this is the case, because there are, as I said, wedged areas. This is all wedged. You know, there's tetras in there for some sort of uh, grill effect. I am really liking the uh, the design that they were going with, with this, you know, like uh, circular structure, these beams that are holding this lower section in place. This looks, it looks really good. Uh, there's these tanks down here that are attached uh, via this massive, you know, st uh, structure that is, encompasses it not only once, but twice, right? I feel like these tanks could have had a little bit more attention paid to them, uh, because the tanks up there have a little bit more detail on them. But that's not too bad. What is down here? It looks like there's some uh, external little bits that we can access down here, so if you want to take a spacewalk, that's kind of neat. It's a nice little detail, uh, and that's pretty cool. So, there's a massive amount of stuff going on on the external bit side, and I feel like that we'll see just as much going on on the inside. Look at this. Now, that's a really nice little addition, you know, uh, some sort of integrated tank built into the bottom of this hull structure. This hallway exterior is fantastic. It really looks like it's, you know, attached and bolted onto the station, you know, hardcore. It's not going to move anywhere. There appears to be some sort of airlock here, but I'm not going to go through it. I can't guarantee that we'll see all of this station or the interior, but I will try my best. Got more of these tank designs on the top. See, this looks a little messy. 
This is where I really wish they had wedged. Because uh, I get a little lost in this, you know? There's some patterns going on, there's some designs, but again, because of the edges that are created by not wedging, it looks a little choppy. Too choppy for my taste in terms of this area. And then we have some uh, metal struts holding up this uh, dome section, which looks fantastic. I, again, the glass needs to be wedged. It's a smooth structure, and I think, you know, a dome of anything... Out of all the things, a dome should be wedged. Okay, so let's take a look through some of these areas. Uh, there appears to be a door here. What does this lead to? An empty tank! Okay. There's not actually anything going on in here. <laughs> let's get out of this. So we got some tanks here, uh, you know, all sorts of stuff. We've got this massive hangar with some ribbing, and I do like the uh, corner bits. Kind of reminds me of uh, the hangars from the Death Star. Not sure why. Wow, this is very open. And you know what? I have no problem with this. As long as they can make the, uh, the detail scale with the size, I think this is amazing. Because, uh, you know, in here, we had a small room. You couldn't see anything except, uh, you know, the outside, which is just space, and then this wall, right? So they've put, a, you know, a decent amount of detail in here to fit and keep our eyes entertained, right? And then we come out here and they've spaced it out a little bit more, and that's because it's a massive hallway. There doesn't need to be a ton of stuff going on, something that, you know, I should probably think about when I design my own large structures, because, you know, it gets cluttered, it gets broken up as you look at, uh, at it from a distance, you know, as you look down the entire hallway, you know, it starts to stack on top of itself, these details, these ribs uh, that are, these this framework that's going around the, the room, and uh, it kind of gets a little too busy at that point. So it looks like we have some sort of uh, secondary door here, oh my god, there is just level after level of detail work, massive pipes, wow, that's interesting. Uh, I feel like this room could a bit get a bit more attention because it does look like there's some unwedged areas. Uh, and there was an elevator there, but there's also stairs, which is kind of neat. We come back here. Oh no, okay, we can't go over there, but I think... Right, so if we go up this elevator, we can see the control areas for these docking sections on this side. I mean, there's not a lot going on here, but it looks like a ship can come in, it can potentially stick out a little bit from uh, the station, and these clamps will hold it in place. So that's kind of neat. So let's travel down this length. Looks like we've got some orange piping here, again. It's got an odd shape to it. I'm not sure if that was finished. It doesn't look finished, I'll be honest. It does not look finished. One side is wedged and has an additional block, the other side does not, so I'm thinking that it's not done. Uh, there's the other hangers. Moving down, it does... Well, we got something over here. Lots of un uh, unfinished interior space. Uh, depending on, you know, the plan, that's okay. Oh my god. It actually goes up quite a bit. And I think I just saw something a few seconds ago that will really shock us. Okay, so yeah, you can take an elevator up. It's a little dangerous to take that up, I must admit. Ooh! There's even an upper hallway going down the length of this thing. Wow! A little lift to bring you down. What does this go to? The upper decks of the, uh, the hangars. I'm not entirely sure if a uh, player will have any purpose for going there. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe it's... Uh, okay, maybe this is the actual landing uh, this part for uh, the uh, hangars. You're supposed to go up onto that upper deck. This is supposedly restricted. <laughs> so let's go check that out. Communication center. Okay. Wow, there is a lot of stuff going on here. This table right here in the center, really well done. As cluttered as it may seem, I, I you know, there's just so much going on, it makes it feel super busy. I think that's really great. So, there's lights all over the place. I'm not sure if these red lights do anything. Are they on? Yeah, they are on. It's kind of neat how they got the red lights to turn on, yet this room is fairly white, or bright. There's not a lot of red going on. This hallway, as long as it may be, you know, got a lot of detail on it. A lot of work put into that. Uh, what is this? Hangar. Restricted area. Not sure why it's restricted. I'm not sure. Oh my god. What? 
What? There's massive doors on this side of the station. I did not see that. I didn't even look at that side of the station. Wow, okay. So we've got this stuff going on. We've got, you know, depth added with that. You can see through the floor a little bit. Again, I think some of this needs to be more thought out. There's, you know, areas where wedges are missing. Stuff like that. I this, These hangers are freaking huge. The builder can definitely come back and do this door with some wedges now, which is really great. It's down here. I'm getting lost a little bit now. There's a massive underground, underfloor section with a pipe here. Again, I'm trying to cover as much of this as I can. These pipes split off and they go into, into central sections, that's neat. There's some windows here, although I'm not sure if they're really even necessary, considering uh, this seems more like a a maintenance area. Some description. I am getting absolutely lost. And again, this station seems unfinished, but holy crap, guys, this thing is huge. I mean, just look at this hangar. Look at this hangar! This is massive. I'm not sure if there's a ship that would take up this much space. <laughs> uh, welcome center. There's more doors over here. Wow. Look at this. This is something I wanted to do with my station. Have little things like this. I guess this is the cargo area where you would store your stuff. It would have been paid off to put some actual cargo back here. Considering, you know, uh, there's no need for us to actually place cargo in the game. We can at least place it there for aesthetics. And I think that would have been uh, a good idea. Also, again, wedging the back wall would have paid off. This is nuts. This is massively massive. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be this big. So let's go in here. Wow, there's just layers upon layers of rooms in this station. This this one goes down. I assume this goes to the hangar down here. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh my god. There is so much to this station, guys. I really like the fact that they've they must have thought out the layout for this station in order to get so much of it, you know, layered upon itself. Trade station designed by El Pulpi. Nice. And again, this goes on and on. I'm not sure where it ends. I mean, look at this. It just keeps going. It, what is, this is like a reactor. Wow, this reactor room is awesome. It's huge. Look at that. It's got like a little floating, you know, ball of energy or something. I don't know. I think there could have been a more done with the walls, considering, you know, this is a reactor room and, you know, you could have put some of those details here. This looks like so- oh, okay, external access was there. Something we looked at earlier. Wow! This thing is massive. They definitely wanted to make this thing feel like a large station by doing it like this. So, I'm gonna go back in here. Let's uh, go up a bit. Let's try and find our way out. Shopping area, ground floor. Where am I in terms of the station? Ah, okay. So this is a little bit lower than where I normally was. There's some uh, desks here. Again, wedging needs to be applied. Some details can be thrown in here, especially if this is a shopping area. I assume there would be some sort of, you know, stuff to buy. I assume, I, I'm guessing these are like the uh, the registers. And you get rung up and uh, pay for your goods. Oh. Does this even go anywhere? Oh, yes, it does. Uh, more shopping area? Okay, okay. Again, needs some detail, but that's alright. Is there a way to continue going up? Looks like it. So we'll take it up. I'm getting a little lost. I'm not sure if this little hole is supposed to be there. We're gonna ignore that. This brings us back up here, okay. I kind of wish that it wasn't so confusing. I'm getting lost very easily, and I wish that, you know, a single elevator was used to bring you to each of these floors, or multiple areas that hit each floor. Uh, using uh, multiple area elevators that are broken up to get to different areas is kind of disorienting. I didn't even know where I was when I went to the lower sections. Ooh, okay, there's a little bit of uh, a desk here. There's the build block. Let's, uh... Oh, no, wait. We've actually already seen that area, so never mind. Let's uh, continue going up. I assume we go up through this elevator. Okay, this is a much higher elevator than the other ones. Which goes straight to the top, I guess. And this looks like the uh, control section for the station. Wow. This is a massive building. 
massive building in space. And here's the dome, right? Got elevators bringing you up to the next level. Oh, look at this. Computer monitors embedded inside these panels on the wall. Genius. I don't think I've seen something like that. Almost feels like a stock market. This is something that I, I imagine a stock market in space would look like. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what this floor is all about. Maybe I'll find out if I go back down to the elevator at the bottom. And I think that's, for the most part, all of the features of this station. I may have missed stuff, but I really hope I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. There's no sign indicating what's above. Ah, oh, but there are a lot of rooms here. These are definitely the rooms. Wow. Holy crap, guys. This is neat. I really like this. Massive interior. There's gotta be details placed in here. I'm just saying, you know, this entire area can be some sort of lobby where people can chill out and hang out, potentially get some snacks out of a vending machine, and just talk to people at some nice chairs and desks or tables, right? Uh, I feel like it's a little dangerous having no uh, railings, but that's okay. We've got some massive rooms. I'm assuming this is the Plexon Detonator. We've got one in every single room on this station, it seems. Incredible. Massive, massive interior space. So, I will... I'm, I gotta say, this is quite impressive. I can't believe they managed to pull all this off in the allotted time for the station contest, but... Goddamn, that's a lot of build going on there. That is a lot of awesome, but there does need to be some improvements. Uh, I think, you know, details, wedging... Uh, things like that need to be taken uh, uh, or given some more attention. Things like that, you know, uh, filling up some of the space and utilizing a little bit of the space a little bit better. But overall, I'm going to say as a trade guild station, this is a 10 out of 10 on effectiveness. This is like the trade port of all trade ports. I'm going to say it right now. Out, so far, out of the submissions that I've seen, this is, you know, the one station to rule them all. And I'm not saying that I'm going to personally pick this station uh, as a winner. I'm saying that in terms of scale and, you know, functionality, this thing's got a number of features. Um, uh, interior design and exterior design are going to get an 8 out of 10. I really want to, like, fully give this a 10 out of 10 on those, those two aspects. But again, I think there's things that need to be improved upon. And uh, when those things are taken care of, this, th this, this thing is going to be like a perfect station, I can guarantee it. Um, so, thanks for watching. That was the L Corporation Space Hub by L Poopy. Uh, thanks for watching. I think I said that. <laughs> I always say that twice. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of these station reviews, among other things I do on my channel. And I will see you all next time.